Okay, guys, we are back at it with EVLO. That's Evelo Biosciences that came in for a massive bull run ahead earlier on yesterday and into the after hours. And we caught this stock off of the alerts in the Bank of Wibbly Discord to lock in those easy gains. And make sure that you help yourself to the profit section so you can see where everybody is locking those gains in left and right. It's easy money when you know what you are going for. And it's the same setup, same strategy every single trade. Not only will you be able to get my alerts, but also the alerts from the rest of the experienced analysts in here. Throwing these plays in stocks, options, crypto. Guys, the whole shamboozle. If you have any questions, just let me know and I will guide you properly. Let's get right into it with EVLO stock coming in for the massive run up. And if you've seen this stock at the lows of that seven cents, you would have seen this stock coming out with this short sale restrictions. I'm about to show you right now how you catch those short sale restrictions at time so you can catch these parabolic plays. You can lock in those easy gains. This stock came out with this short sale restrictions. I'm always telling you guys to be watching out for back on the 12th. This was a few days ago when Airflow was at a major discount. I always tell you about how important these shorts are, how important it is to catch those short sale restrictions and zero shares available to short on time. Right now, we got Airflow coming in for another bull run ahead. After taking a massive dip down, this stock had a massive explosion from seven cents all the way to 38 cents. And of course, you know they were going to sell those gains. You know that they were going to lock those gains in. All of those day traders and swing traders who were just waiting for this stock to explode to get that easy money. But if you look back on a monthly chart on Evlo, this stock is still at a major discount. There's going to be many more bull runs ahead of Evlo stock. And like I say, it's easy money when you know what you are going for. If Evlo is what you want to go for, what you are going to be doing is waiting until this stock comes back down towards that oversold on whatever time frame that you're waiting on. Now, again, kind of risky for the swing traders while it was on that downtrend. So they waited to see this stock get all the way back down towards that oversold on the smaller time frames. If you look on the 15 minute chart, you can see where this stock touched back down oversold into the after hours. I'm finding this data, this information on the RSI indicator and the MACD indicator. The RSI lets me know when these stocks are overbought and dangerous. You didn't want to get in this stock when it was overbought and dangerous out at the highs of those 38s. Or when it's oversold and safe. You want it to be in there when it touched back down oversold down at the 12 cents when we loaded up in there for that next bull run ahead. And multiple alerts going out for this stock. The market is it's a game of patience. You can't be patient. The market might not be the game for you. And timing is everything. When you see the alerts going out about how these stocks are moving up in these volumes, you got analysts that are throwing out the alerts. Take advantage of that. Like I said, maybe you not be, maybe you don't get in at those lows of, or those perfect 12s, catch that early seat. Maybe you don't get in at those 15s. Maybe you got in a few cents up, but you were still able to get that 7 to 15%. You were still able to hit your targets. And even though I like in gains, just because I like in gains for a 60% gain, doesn't mean that you have to. Maybe maybe you feel more bold on that stock and you want to you want to push it up some more. I'm locking in gains on the way up. And when they take that small, quick dip, you better be ready to get out of there, which is why when Airflow pushes up 50 percent and it starts to dip back down, getting volatile because day traders already like these gains in. I'm going to show you why right here. Watch this on your one minute chart where you see how Airflow comes in for that after hours explosion down from that oversold and pushes back up all the way towards that overbought rather instantly. Guys, in a few minutes. And I'll let you know if this is a swing trade, some of you are still holding for the swing trade, or if it's a day trade, easy money. I went in for that quick day trade. No one ready liking those games. So I'm using my day trade time frame. I'm watching my one minute chart. No one this stock is about to be pushing up towards the bought. And I know day traders are about to get ready to like in games. So I'm waiting for this stock to get up overbought. And I locked in up at the heights. Instead of Waiting in there while I was getting all choppy and all kinds of nonsense start going in. And then the stock starts to sell off some more, which it did back down to 13 cents. They loaded back up real quick, back up to 16 cents. Now, we watching a one-minute chart. We watching our one-minute time frame. Again, a lot of you people are going in for swing trades and whatnot. I know a lot of people are still holding into this stock. And if you are still holding into this stock, just know that this stock is still on a major discount. I don't know if you bought any of those 38s or what, what heights you got in at. Hopefully, you in there at these lows still. And your RSI is still has a, your RSI still has more room to grow. Now, I'm not saying Airflow about to push up over that 30 cents. Like I said, if that's where you at, that's a bad position. I'll show you more on that in a four hour chart. Watch this. If you up at those 38s and you didn't lock in gains um, on the way up or on the way down or whatever, right now you're holding the bag. That's what's called holding the bag. You don't want to be holding that bag. You want to be able to navigate yourself properly. If you were smart or if you were more experienced in the markets, then you would have. Look, man, you go in with a smaller position size in case anything happens, especially if it's a risky 
day trade. Understand your role in the markets. Understand if you are a swing trader or a day trader, how you like to move. Right now, Airflow got an average value of 7.17 million. And that current volume gets up to 163 million right now. And same volume coming in Airflow stock while the stock was coming out with its short sale restrictions back here on the 12th, what I'm showing you here. Back when the stock was still low and oversold. Back before the MAC, the yellow MACD line crossed back over that blue center line, creating that bullish divergence. Keep an eye on your analysis order flow. You'll be able to see clearly if you have more large scale wells coming in or large scale wells going out and you understand how to move um, accordingly in between there. Like in the morning when we see all the large scales piling into all the stocks, in the next hour or so, markets open at 8.30, the next hour or so around 9.30, 10 o'clock, then they all start selling off. We start seeing large scales going out and then we start seeing those stocks come out with zero shares available to short. Those are those dips that you catch in between your 15 minute chart. Watch this. When those stocks sell off, how we waited to that thing sell all the way back off the oversold. Sometimes this stock, sometimes these stocks sell off even faster. Pushing down the oversold in the morning, around 10 o'clock, whatever time this is, and then they'll come out with a zero shares available to short and come in for that next run up. Right here, people bought that stock from the lows of that 17. It only went back up to that 21 cents. They just continued to sell it off. That would have been that hot reverse coming in right there. And people had the bullish sentiment on airflow during the middle of the day. But people want to wait off a little bit more because you look back at your four hour chart, the stock it is not all the way back down towards the result. It got lucky and started to get that quick momentum shift. People got very bullish on the stock real quick. They were waiting because of this stock gets that after, it got that after hours bullishness last time. So people said they're not gonna miss out on the after hours bullishness this time. And if this trend continues to happen, people create the trends. Um, when you got you already you know what I mean when you got millions of investors all expecting and planning or wanting the same thing from us from one stock, um, the meme rallies, for example, AMCs and GMEs and whatnot. Then that then they'll create that sentiment on that stock, and they're gonna make that stock do exactly that. Be watching out for stuff like that. This is how um, massive rallies and stuff can can um, make a stock push in a certain direction. Also, be wise to do your um, due diligence and into things. Make sure that you look up the news and what's going on. If you're talking about the long term investment, you need to take a look at their balance sheet so you'll be able to see if they got total assets that are out doing total liabilities. At least see this. So you'll be able to know if this company is in good standards or not. And right now, Airflow stock. L, L, well, we, we on a quarterly balance sheet right now. The balance sheet looking bad. A descending balance sheet. Assets can't get too much more lower. And its liabilities are still getting up higher. And a debt to asset ratio has been getting up extremely too high as the balance sheet descends. And it looks bad on a annual as well. I don't know when we will update. Make say next update. Um, it's probably updated on yours. You want to be seeing Airflow's next upcoming report, and we can go see what Airflow is coming up with their next report. For those of you who don't know what this stock is, Airflow Biosciences is a clinical stage biotech company. The company is focused on discovering and developing a class of oral medicines that act on immune cells in the small intestine with systematic effects. It has built a platform to discover and develop oral medicines which target the small intestinal axis. That's syntax for short. Its product candidates are Pharmaceutical preparations of single strains or microbes or their extracellular vesicles, or EVs for short. It's product candidate EDP1815 is an investigational oral biologic being developed for the treatment of inflammatory diseases. The EDP1815 is a clinical development for both pearlases, driven largely by TH17 inflammation and atomic dermatitis driven by the th2 inflammation the edp 2939 is an investigational oral biologic consisting of evs that it is developing for the potential treatment of inflammatory diseases the edp 1867 is a non-live pharmaceutical preparation of single strain velanola parvula insulated from the ilium of human donor how about we just look into their website and see everything that they do have going on? Because not only do the technicals matter, but the fundamentals as well. Understand that Airflow is a penny stock. You know that they're about to get delisted, right? Every stock under a penny stock. When these stocks get in these lows, they got to be up at that dollar or whatever their compliance is. And um, they usually have like 90 days to get up there and so on and so forth. Most of the time, the majority of the time, these stocks come out with they, with they reverse split to save them. They don't, they don't mind what the shareholders have going on. They don't care about how you feel about it or what's going to happen to your goals or whatnot. And the they don't, they don't want to get delisted. And they know they, they want to stay out of these markets. So they're going to have a reverse split. Now, there's cases where, like, like for example, like Evlo 
if Evlo was holding up strong, if it didn't sell off all the way back off at 38 cents, and then it came in for another run of bullshit into this after hours after it held up for 38 cents, then it probably would have pushed up to like 50, 60 cents, something like that. You know, and it would have been getting closer up to that dollar. Delist delistments and reverse splits would, you know, be, be 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 less of a certainty with them. I don't know when they delistment date is. Make sure you're looking into everything so you do see when that is. Um, I'm, I'm going to make another Evlo video where we are looking into their filings so we can see when they um when they delistment date is, what their compliance is, and if they do have any plant reverse splits and so on and so forth. Just so everybody can be prepared because this stock is on a major discount and people are going to be getting ready to go for that next run up in Evlo stock. We made easy money off the Evlo stock from the alerts for multiple bull runs ahead. And, and this isn't the first time evlo has been coming in for these rounds of bullishness. Off of those short sale restrictions, I'm always telling you guys to be watching out for. As we continue back to a page even, you can see how Evlo is coming out with its short sale restrictions. As I continue to scroll down, you're going to watch and see how more alerts have been coming out for parabolic plays and Evlo stock. Evlo stock is going to get ready to make another move, another bull run ahead. As the sentiment continues to get bullish on this stock as these months continue on. Don't miss the next bull run ahead. You're going to see volume tickets picking this up. You're going to see the short sale restrictions throwing this out. Guys, and then you're going to see all the members locking in the games like you're seeing now. It is easy money. We know what we're going for. So if you know you want to go for Evlo stock, all you got to do now is just be ready for it and have your percentage and or price target set. For that movement make sure that you're checking out their website to see everything that they do have going on and they have the effective safe and well tolerated oral and convenient and it's affordable they say their product candidates are non-live single strains of microbe and extracircular vesicles that are room temperature stable and can be taken orally in clinical trials to date their lead product candidate was tolerated with safety data comparable to the placebo i want to look at i'm looking at let me see their menu i'm looking for i'm looking for pipelines they got they they ain't got their pipelines up here. Um, oh, uh, okay, pipeline inflammatory diseases. Look into their pipelines. You want to see if you can find out if these things moving on into the next phases, so on and so forth. Most of these sites they'll have a a chart up. They have a chart here with all them lined up, and you'll be able to see phase one, phase two, IND enabling, all that stuff like that. But nonetheless, um, we're gonna look further into Evlo stock. Like I said, they're about to make another bull run ahead, and the sentiment is starting to change. In fact. Let's go ask Chat GPT about Evlo stock. Anybody can come in here and use the Chat GPT. I'll tell you now that when you come in here, right? Let me show you. Your Chat B, your Chat GPT setting is going to be set on the main, the usual Chat GPT. What you're going to do is you're going to come in. When you get in here, you're going to click set button, right? That button right there, you see. Um, on yours, it's going to say Chat GPT here. You're going to click that and then bring up the list. You're going to change the Chat GPT to one of the smarter Chat GPT AI friends, okay? And I make sure to have us multiple variations of these okay so find find your favorite one some of the responders others. i like using bard allen and koala we're gonna use the bard now and we'll just ask bard simply you're gonna type at G chat gpt and then click his name okay you're just gonna ask your question right now he's gonna ask uh when's the next report when tell me about avlo stock price um now tell me about Evlo stock, Evlo stock sentiment, and their their next upcoming earnings report. And give it a second to look up the data thing if it responds, all that good stuff like that. Let's see what Chat GPT have got to say about the Evlo stock. I'm excited actually. Okay. Um. Okay, so Evlo stock, the stock sentiment overall towards the Evlo stock is positive. According to recent surveys from the analysts, the median price target for Evlo stock is $100, which implies a potential upside of 100% from the current price of $50. This is inaccurate information, but the next earnings report, Evlo is scheduled to report earnings on July 26th. Huh. Analysts are expected to the company to report earnings for 20, of 20 cents per share. On a revenue of a hundred million dollars. Wow, that's what's that next week? That's crazy. Well, we'll be looking further into um. Oh, that's um next month. We'll be looking further into Evlo stock. Like I said they're gonna come in for another round. It's just now getting bullish. We continue on though. The overall market sentiment could have a significant impact on Evlo stock price if the overall market is bearish. Evlo stock could decline even if the company reports strong earnings. They got strong competition. Um. And government regulations, guys, and keep an eye on Evlo stock. 
you want to just make sure that you are doing as much digging as possible when you do have the time. And again, it's easier if you know what you are going for. So right now, while we know airflow stock is about to come up for another bull run, in fact, the stock is going to be bullish into the into the morning. When the market opens up, it winds at these lows and they got a high volume and then people just missed out on this. They're already going to be looking at the stock saying, I'm about to go into this stock for that next big bull run ahead. They're going to come out with news. And we'll be ready to catch the next news on time, okay? Let me know if you are an Avalon stock, what your next expectations are. I'll see you guys in the Discord, and happy trading.